Connor really never saw it coming. My wish was to uh, be a pirate and sail the seven seas. I think it just come, came from my like six year old little mind. You're going on your Disney cruise yeah. to the Caribbean. Yay! He's just one of more than 2,000 kids facing critical health challenges who've had their wishes granted by the Make a Wish Foundation in central New York since 1985. He swam with dolphins, he met Disney characters, and for the whole trip, he never thought about hospitals or doctors or the kidney cancer that had threatened his life. You know, when they're diagnosed, they don't want to be known as that kid with cancer or the kid with kidney disease. Instead, Make-A-Wish changes their story. They're the kid that got to meet the Yankees or the kid that has a new swimming pool in their backyard. The whole experience was amazing. I mean, it helped a lot, got my mind off of it. It was like the best thing for me at the time. Now 10 years past his diagnosis, Connor is doing great. Noah's immune disorder is also in check. His surprise came at the Dome when he thought he was going to be shooting some baskets. Coach Beheim had other thoughts. I'm excited to let you know that your wish to go to Walt Disney World is coming true. It's very powerful. You just have your wish come true, which is the best feeling in the world. And those good memories that you make during your wish can get you through a tough time. Hope is such a powerful emotion. It has such an impact on us emotionally and physically. And if you believe in the power of hope and the power of positive attitude, you just see the lives that are changed. It's for the whole family. Yes, the, it, the focus is on the the child, but they're really very supportive of the whole family. World Wish Day, marking the birth of the Make-A-Wish Foundation, is coming up on April 29th. If you can volunteer, if you can join, if you can do anything to help, yeah. you know, it's the absolute best cause.